Good morning! I tried to look as less of a woman as I could because traveling this day and age is scary, but I'm so excited! Georgia! We made it somehow, I don't know how. I feel like I could sleep for like 20 hours. Except, whoa, this table's on wheels. So I've never traveled alone before. This is my first time. And I'm just such a shy, nervy girly. So <laughs> things were a little hard. And like, I didn't sleep at all. My alarm went off and my mom came in my room and was like, Penny, wake up. And I swear to you, I literally was like, what are you talking about? Like, I'm, I haven't even fallen asleep yet, but it was time to go. So we made it here. Long drive, long flight, but we're cozy. So didn't really tell you guys like why I'm here, like what I'm exactly doing. And obviously you'll see the thumbnail, but I'm partnering with Go Army to visit their base and go through their basic training. Just kind of have a little bit of insight on what they go through and um, just experience a little taste of what it's like to be in the army and just learn more about it. So I'm really excited for these next two days being on base with the team and seeing what it's all about and of course coming to you guys and telling you guys everything that I learn and experience. So it's going to be super interesting and I'm really excited for the fitness part of it because I always wondered if I could like survive their training. Obviously it's way longer than two days, but it's going to be a really cool experience and I'm super excited to be out here in Georgia. I will check in with you guys probably tomorrow morning. All right, good morning everyone. We're ready. Since today is like the elliptical, elliptical? <laughs> The obstacle course, um, I just slicked my hair back into a bun so it's out of the way. I have a little tee on and then I have like a long sleeve jacket and then I have my bigger jacket. Just black leggings, black Nikes. Super excited. Good morning for Benning. Hi Katie. Hi vlog. <laughs> I'm nervous. There's literally like wood everywhere. Okay, we're getting started. Look at it, they're literally in action right now. <laughs> See, they hold the rope. Oh my god, no way. <laughs> Sliding. Okay, so they literally climb right there and then they slide down that rope. Literally upside down. Alright, should I do it? That'll be me climbing down the rope. Okay, so this one, it's called the high step over. You're supposed to go up and over these, but without using your hands, putting your hands on your head. And I can't, I'm too short. But I mean, there has to be short, like people that do it. Like, now push I'm too off your short. toe. Push off your toe. There you go. Okay. Season bad. Guys, going like this backwards. And jumping up like that. And then getting their legs over. <sighs> yeah, like that, but they jump like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, wait, that was good. Hey, I that got was really it. Good. Okay, let's see it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah. <laughs> wait, that was right. That was right. I don't know if I can make it all the way. Last one. Last one. Come on. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Literally the last one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the one that I was doing. See how they have to get up and over without their hands. Here's Ryan. For this obstacle, scale of one to 10, how hard would you rate it? How advanced? Five. Yeah, I'm like, uh, I feel like it looks kind of like a 10. So what would you feel like for technique wise? Like what helps you get through this one? I haven't been through it, so honestly, I don't know. Oh, you've never oh, done first it time? No, this is our first time. Well, it's going to be our first time too, so. Yeah. <laughs> Lean back and send it. Send Smart. it, thank you. <laughs> I told Katie we have to do this one. I'm down. Like, he said, it looks he said a level five, but I feel like it looks like a level 10. Oh yeah. Cause they're literally hanging on the rope like this. Yeah, and, you have to, like, monkey bar and then hook your legs uh -huh. on the wall. And then there's a monkey bar all the way going across. It's kind of tall though. Yeah, it does. Like if we fall, like definitely buttons. <laughs> like definitely <laughs> There's buttons only sand. sand. There's literally only I know. sand. And then you gotta swing your legs. Yeah. Okay. Do it like. Oh my god, how did you do that? I don't know how I'm gonna do this side. <laughs> Wait, how are you gonna slide down this?
Okay, so I didn't realize that as they go through these, like if they can't get past a certain obstacle, like they won't leave. So like this one right here, where the guy is climbing, like those three people have done it probably like 10 times now and they have to keep doing it until they achieve it. And it's hard because things are a little more serious. So as much as I just want to scream out and be like, you can do it, like you're so close. Like we, you know, kind of have to stay quiet and let them do their thing. So, but they just get so close and then they don't make it but props to them because I don't even think I could do it but we're gonna try so I actually ended up getting through this one my first try I was really proud of myself and I felt super empowered after so go ahead and check my new real video of me doing it on my Instagram come on Maddie Those are big steps I didn't even realize that so you said 30 feet about 30 feet 30 30 35 feet out of like 1 to 10 how hard would you I think about this uh, and having to sit yourself head first upside down allows so people oh, to uh, conquer that fear. Well, you think I could do it? 100%. Yeah? Alright, well, let's do it. <laughs> Look at her. <gasps> now we're in the best pants for it, but work. Not yet. <laughs> you Come on, you're close. There you go. In this moment, I realized just how hard this obstacle was. If you realize my feet are above my head, so all my lower body weight is on my arms and my leggings were sliding. So the strength that I had to use to fight back and resist was insane. I was sore for days. You gotta drop. You done, girl? Drop, 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 drop. <laughs> drop. Oh, shit, I'm at the end. I'm so happy you did it. That was hard. Was it? Yeah. How do you feel? <sighs> Tired. It was scary at the top leaning back. Mm -hmm. I was trying to grip with like my elbows. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of like upper body strength. Ready to quit halfway through. Yeah, I was. Wait, and you're like, yeah, like five more pulls. And then I did five. Uh huh. And then she was like, yeah, halfway. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you told her halfway. And I was like, oh, she just I really started. <laughs> what is your name? Julio. 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 So my position is, personally, I'm, I'm a senior drill sergeant for one of the platoons. What we do here is we, the drill sergeants will spread out amongst the obstacle course and just kind of guide them through, particularly the obstacles where there's a lot of risk involved. Someone could like get hurt or someone has got hurt in the past. And then we'll just kind of guide them through those obstacles. And those obstacles are there and meant to simulate things that they'll have to encounter in training and in combat. you go on this course yourself? I went on this course 2013. Wow. I went through basic combat training. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much. No problem. The basic training guys and, and even active duty soldiers that come through that need um, training. This is obviously a, a scenario um, driven simulation. Belt, because this is a simulation, so you don't need nothing but this. This is just a magnet on it to make sure it triggers the round to shoot down range. But actually, when you have the weapon itself, you either got a drum or you can't shoot magazines. Place it in. Once you place it in, this is the charging handle. You pull it back. Push forward, it's ready to go. What we're going to be doing is going to be trying to look through here and here, all right? The arrow and underneath it, there's a little black speck. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's the target that we're going to be trying to shoot at. The arrows aren't there yet, right? No, nope, not there yet. <laughs> like, I know. Am I really that black? I know. <laughs> Try to toss. One. Yeah. Okay, good. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Not bad. Try it again. Okay, good. Better? Yep. Try it now. Come down. Come down. Hey, you ain't got to worry about breaking it. Manhandle it, like we call it. <laughs> All right, load it, ready. <laughs> Keep going. All right. Hold you all over it. Keep going. Right there, hold the trigger. So you hit the target, unfortunately, yeah. on these ranges and different things, those bars that are coming down on that target, if it's too low, it, it doesn't represent a hit. Right for initial injury training soldiers, this is what they'll see when they go to an actual range. So everything that's on here simulates an actual range. They have to get eight out of 10 rounds consecutively within a four centimeter circle. Is there a certain way I have to leg? Why am I left? Do you put this on your shoulder? I don't look right. 
I need help. Okay. Oh, this there. way. Yeah, it's fine there. Usually you want it under here, but if you feel more comfortable, just do whatever feels more comfortable for you. You're aiming for the bullseye oh. on the paper. So your magazine, you're gonna put the magazine in. Wait, this? Where's the chamber? Pull this, charge this back. Take your finger out of the way, turn it well. Keep going all the way back, just now, now release it. You're good. Free. There you go. Good? Yep, you're good. <laughs> yeah? I didn't hit it. I didn't get much footage of this part of the day, but we got to ride in the tank. They go up to, I think, like 65 miles per hour, and being that high up, going that fast, it felt like we were flying. I am back in the hotel room. Sorry, I look so ragged. So I could sit here and talk about it for like hours, but obviously, I know that I filmed it, so you guys will see what we were doing. But the first thing we did was the obstacle courses. They were literally crazy, and it was so cool cool to see like the soldiers actually like going through it and going through their training. All the sergeants that were um, kind of guiding them through and telling them what to do. Anytime like someone was like oh, like defeated or something they they just had the mindset of just do it. There was one that I did that went up 30 feet and I have to grab this rope turn backwards and climb down and I'm like oh like you think I can do it and he's like yeah like why why wouldn't you be able to almost as if like anybody can do it you just have to put your mind to it you know instead of like oh uh, yeah i don't know if you could like i don't know if you have the strength also katie katie if you're watching this so sweet she was talking about how she went up for one of the obstacle courses that she did and it was super high up i don't even know if it was 30 feet like mine was it might have been taller i don't know but anyways it was super tall you climbed up and then you went straight down like it wasn't at an angle like the one i did and she she said that she was like talking about how she was afraid of the height and and the sergeant that was up there like guiding her was literally like just don't look down you know and it's like just their mentality is just that like anybody can do it like it doesn't matter what kind of person you are if you put your mind to it like you can do these things and then we got to kind of get a look at their weapons and they had a simulation where and I'm sure you guys saw it already but they're not actually shooting it's just like a screen but it's like the real gun and everything and that was crazy because I've never shot a gun before so that was insane I think the craziest part of today I don't know the obstacle courses were really challenging and like once you got through them it was like really empowering and especially seeing that other you know strong men were doing these obstacle courses and then me thinking like oh I could never do that and then I did it and I would get them like first try like I was really impressed with myself and it was cool stepping out of my comfort zone and like obviously training in a way that I never do I didn't get a lot of footage of the team so we literally rode in them. They're huge. They're so loud and they drive so much faster than I thought and it's like shaking. I was like there's no way like I'm gonna take my camera like I just didn't want anything to happen to it but having the whole headset on and like driving in the tank and then we got to see the inside and that's something that we couldn't film but it was just a crazy experience and it was really eye-opening really seeing the truth about the army and just like a little insight on it and it is just not what we expect expect and not our first reaction and it's not like just our expectations because here I was thinking that it was so like one of them um called it like a shark attack like you get in there and it's just like as soon as you get off the bus like they're screaming yelling at you and it was just really different and they've talked about how the U.S. Army has changed over the years and so little things like that like they're really evolving as the years go on there's a literally 200 different jobs you can do in the army like I can't even think of 200 jobs in general and like being on base it's literally just like a little city so there's a lot of benefits to it that like i didn't even know about and like being on base and like seeing it like for yourself is literally crazy now like everything is processing like how cool this whole experience has been and like how cool it would even be to like be in the army at least like cooler than what i expected you know what i mean and like just seeing especially the soldiers like the bonds they have if their friend couldn't get through any some of the courses like they would encourage them and stuff and it's just been a really cool experience but yeah i'm gonna go shower i will see you guys in the morning all right we are ready for day two i'm running out the door i need to go downstairs and get some coffee and breakfast so excited for today
welcome. I'm Staff Sergeant Wall, and we're here at the Common Drivers Trainer, known as the CDT. This is a driver simulation for the M1A2 Abrams tank. The importance of this is to teach soldiers how to drive the vehicle in a safe environment where there's no one that can get hurt and no damage to a six million dollar vehicle. Remember that green button? Mine personally, but uh, when I was in uh, Fort Bliss, my tank name was Bad Bull because you know how my mentality is and how my crew mentality is. My other tanks, you know, I've had other names. I have one called you know, American Cycle, the Beast Mode, the Invasion. We named our tank uh, Christine. <laughs> so, Combatives Level One, okay, is basically designed to teach a new trainee how to survive in a fight. So, then if you're this way, did you take which, yep. this hand? Here, shoot. I notice immediately I'm getting inside of his reach of his arms, right? I start breaking him down to the rear, okay? okay. Don't worry about the truth. Leave him. No. No, no, no. Your head. No, definitely not like that. So <laughs> mad. Squeeze elbows. All right. You're going to break your own neck. Walk me through it. Wait, did you do? No, no, no. Don't worry about that. So, <laughs> there you go. Yep. Hip squared. Get your knees in there. Boom. His leg is bigger than you. So if he starts to strike, you take your hand, shoot across his shoulder. No. Then shrinks down. Grab his tricep. Mm -hmm. Pin his wrist underneath your armpit. <laughs> you grab his back side. Next. This side? Yep. Now squeeze. Okay. Now take your head and drive it into his chest. Break him down real quick. That's your hey. modified. <laughs> <laughs> I was right. trying really hard. <laughs> Hook. Shoulder. Trace down, hip, head, so squeeze. Just start breaking down. Yep. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, so an MRE, and I've already opened this one, it stands for meal ready to eat. All right, there's- last for how long? So these, eternity. <laughs> <laughs> I've eaten one that I've had for like two years. Wow. It's fine, I mean, maybe that wasn't the smartest thing. <laughs> <laughs> they last- Someone yesterday is... told, told me that they last for at least seven years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they last for a long time, that's the point. Seven. And that's, you know, that's the purpose because you take them to a, a field environment when like you can't go to a dining facility or nothing like that is available. And so what these are gonna consist of usually, it's gonna be a main meal, which is usually gonna be on the title. So this one is creamy spinach fettuccine. So yeah. you know for certain that's gonna be in there, right? But the fun comes when you've got all this other stuff in here that usually you don't know what it is and those are gonna be like the snacks and like sometimes you've got drinks so here we've got uh, pretzel nuggets uh, honey mustard and onion flavor everything's tradable. everything's tradable. everything so here's the creamy spinach fettuccine oh yum here is for the heat packet energy bar high value item cran raspberry flavor delicious chocolate protein drink powder I've to, heard to it's preference. like a milkshake yeah. medium, yeah. medium yeah. medium tradable I would say this is a medium yeah okay. but this one you know it's pretty sweet um, and it's got protein like after a day of like hard training this thing is gonna be delicious mm -hmm. so let's lay everything out here <laughs> we've got creamer for coffee salt this is the coffee so look at all this stuff that came out of here I mean you've got like a meal on the left side alone and then on the right side you got more stuff so let's just get started get right into it yeah <laughs> i've torn the top off the, the heating pouch this is the water heater kind of see it maybe through the sunlight here big bolded letters do not overfill <laughs> very important okay slide it in like that then got my shaker cup here usually you'd have your camelback it's your water system that you have on your back pour that masterfully overfilled <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine the good thing is about these is that it's hard to mess it up so you close it here okay like if you look up here it says 
you lean it up against a rock. It says you close it. Wow, there's yeah. really a picture there of the really rock. Is. You can even touch it right now. It's already heating up. Yeah, it's pretty Wait, warm. that's really fast. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good. It's pretty good, right? Hmm. You have a ladybug on your head. Good luck. Yeah. It's got little crunchies in it. Yeah, it's oh, wow. Special. It's just in the bag. I don't know why I was thinking there was like a tray in no, the bag. No, you no. just Ah, you just yeah. Just out of the bag. But it's not a bad yeah. bit. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. You just hold it with your feet. It's not awful. <laughs> no, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not good, but it's, it's not no, awful. No, it's, it's not bad. I thought the spinach was going to be like big chunks. Yeah. But since it's like smaller Small. pieces, yeah. Ooh, the aftertaste is a little funky. All right, hello again after day two. Last day, best day. There's so much that I want to say, but I already know with how much content we got, like it's already going to be a long video. And I will say nothing is going to compare to the real experience. I'm glad that I get to share with you guys like an inside of it but truly just being here and being in the moment and really experiencing things um, firsthand has been crazy. I just hope that you guys watching this you recognize that there are a lot of myths and a lot of not expectations more like assumptions that people have of the army just like what it includes. I've learned so much not even just about like the facts and things but just like learning to flip your mindset and just believing that you can do anything that you put your mind to also seeing women out there just training with the men really like exceptions the women were doing everything that the men were doing and i think that's really cool that uh, they're not really treated any different it's just like you know if they can do it you can do it and they were totally keeping up and I think that was really inspiring as a woman. If there's anyone watching, if if you don't really know which path you want to take, where you want to go, what you want to do, the army is just so open to everyone. There's a job for everyone to do. You get your school paid for. Like there's so many benefits. Being on base and really experiencing it firsthand, it's so much cooler than I ever thought. And it's so much more like for anyone. I don't know. I just assume that if you wanted to be in the army you had to be like super tough super strong like I could never be in the army but like being out there and just like experiencing everything they go through and the training and you know shooting guns to driving the tanks to even driving the tanks like I thought it was just like driving a tractor no there's so much behind it and the whole team that we were with any sergeant trainee that we talked to were all so kind and so genuine and it's just been a really cool experience Experience that I will never forget. It's a great pathway to take in life and it just they really set you up for success and I'm definitely taking all of this home and just soaking it in and I'm so thankful for the opportunity and I hope that you guys enjoyed getting an insight just watching everything that we went through the last two days so I guess we'll end that here. Bye Georgia. It was so nice seeing you. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.